Hey guys, what's up? I uh, got a new build for you today, as you saw in the description. I know it said Skyrim Bracers, but it's, it's not actually game accurate. I just called it Skyrim because you can take a look at that. That's like the exact same like style. It just, I painted it and used rivets and stuff. I could have made these Skyrim if I wouldn't have painted it and just like put some fur on it and wrap leather around it so I put it on my hand wore a leather glove really it wouldn't be that much different to do a Skyrim one but I kind of want to keep with the apocalypse type, type stuff because that's what I'm building and actually I might end up building a full suit of armor to go along with this it might actually be like I might actually do like the whole thing like Skyrim but it's just like the Skyrim iron armor but painted black and more apocalypse type. I don't know. We'll see. That honestly sounds like a pretty cool idea. I might do that. Anyways, this is what I got for you to, today. Let's take a look at how to build it. Alright, so what I got here is just a couple cardboard cutouts of uh, what is my uh, Skyrim iron bracers. Um, I don't actually have a step before this. I apologize for that. But uh, basically all I did was I found myself a couple reference photos, uh, got out a piece of cardboard, and uh, kind of sketched them out, uh, made sure I put my arm on there a couple times, make sure I get it about the right size. And I think that's just about the size I wanted at. I just found a piece of scrap metal that's probably about 1 16th of an inch thick. And uh, now I'm gonna trace these on there and cut them out. Well, after cutting for quite a while, I used the jigsaw, that way it would be a much cleaner cut and there wouldn't be as much uh, cleaning up on it. Um, it took quite a while though with the jigsaw. Anyways, I've got them all cut out, I'm just going to take them to the bench grinder real quick and get them cleaned up. Alright, so you see this one I already got bent and it's ready to go. Kind of what I did is made like, kind of like a sort of ridge between these like indentions here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just kind of put it in the vise and I use a, a smaller sledgehammer. That way I can get good solid contact on it. Um, and I just kind of put it in the vise here, bend it, put it in the vise here, bend it and kind of keep doing that until I get it to the curvature that I want it to be at, like that one. Alright, so now that we've got uh, the bend we want in them, and uh, they're pretty uniform, they're pretty dang close, I think about as close as I'll be able to get them. Um, now, since they're not actually 100% Skyrim, I'm going to be drilling some holes for some straps, like I think right here and right here. Still not 100% sure how I'm going to do the straps yet, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, so what I did was I drilled one hole here towards the back and two up here towards the front. Just gonna paint it black and um, I'm also going to layer some craft foam in here, that way it's a little more comfortable. Um, yeah, and then that's basically it and then it's good to go. Alright, so I got all the craft foam glued in, I just used some hot glue and pressed it in there and it uh, feels actually pretty nice um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the straps in using some rivets so what I'm going to do is like a washer 
uh, and stick the rivet view through and a washer on the other side as well. That way it looks real nice. All right, so here it is right now and um, it sucks. When I do this, put my hand through here and I put it on. I'm sure it's nice and tight on the back. But look at that, it's really loose. So, that's no good. So, if I can get this thing off. So, Alright, so, I got these two old belt, baseball belts, cut them down to size. I'm just going to be using the buckles and this leather part. Yeah, just going to be using that, and I'm going to secure it basically the same way. And just, uh, that way I can buckle it on and it'll be nice and tight, and it won't come off. Um, so, uh, just a tip, if you ever need to take rivets off something, you just uh, drill through them and they'll pop right out. Alright, so what you see right here is the buckle side of the belt, and I put a rivet through it. Um, it since it's double layered, I kind of like tried to cut a bigger hole on this side. That way the rivet would just go down and secure onto the other side, because rivets only have so much room that they can uh, connect stuff to. And uh, it would have been like pushed to the extreme limit if I would have gone through both. Um, and then on the other side, just stuck a rivet through it. And now just strap it on just like that. And uh, you slip your arm through this hole. And it's basically good to go. And it feels a lot tighter that way. And actually, I have it on my other arm right now. And it looks pretty sweet. I think it, it feels great. Um, it's not loose like it was before. It's really tight. And uh, it looks nice, so I think it's I think it's pretty good. I like it, and you're done. All right, well I finally got them finished up, and I think they're pretty sweet, like uh, an Apocalypse Skyrim Iron Breaker. And these things, they're made out of like 16th inch thick steel, so you know they're solid. And honestly, with the foam padding in there pretty comfortable. I think it can hit by basically anything. It's coming fine, you know. It feels great holding the weapon or something. No restriction, you know, even if you got a shield, you know. It's, it's awesome. I really like them. They turned out great. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with them. So, I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. I thought they were pretty cool. Anyways, um, so just what I wanted to say is uh, I actually think I might want to make some Ace of Blades t-shirts. Um, like some uh, like, uh, spread shirt, I think it's called. Like, if you guys think that would be a cool idea, please like this video. That way I get an idea of how many people might get one. I think they'd be like, probably no more than $20. Probably like, you know, is that not outfits for like 20 bucks? Um, I really, I kind of need a fundraiser, because, uh, just help, uh, build stuff. That way I can get better builds for you guys. Um, because I, I, I've got some cool stuff, but I can do a lot cooler stuff if I can, um, fund my projects rather than having to scrap around for them. Um, I think that's really it. I hope you guys like these. Remember, like, subscribe, share the video with one of your friends, get them to subscribe, maybe. Um, that's basically it. I'm Nate Walters, also known as the Ace of Blades, saying so long. P.S. Don't think I'm just doing this to copy the not alpha. I actually wanted to do this quite a while ago. Some people were suggesting that I build them. So, I don't know. Maybe he inspired me a little bit to do this, but don't think I'm doing that. I'm not one of those guys. Alright, see ya. Uh, hey guys, uh, one last thing I want to say is... I actually did make some Ace of Blades t-shirts and other merchandise, like coffee cups, sweatshirts, phone cases, and it all looks pretty sweet. Uh, just go to aceofblades.spreadshirt.com and you can get anything you want, and it's it, it honestly looks pretty sweet. I'm going to have to get some of the stuff myself, um, but yeah, it's really cool. Check it out. You'll be supporting the channel and getting some cool some cool gear aceofblades.spreadshirt.com link in the description check it out you won't be disappointed go ahead and share this video with your buddies maybe they'll get some sweet ace of blades shirts too anyways that's it i'm nate walters known as the ace of blades and so long